windowsill. And then let's do some like coming down from the roof here. Today, we are going to be building a medieval house. I don't have any plans for this, I just want to build. So, we're just going to start building. So first we're going to get some dirt. And um, something I've been trying to do is start building on elevated platforms. Because what you can do is you can terraform down. And that makes it, gives it some elevation, and that looks pretty nice, I think. And it's something that, if you're building, you should keep in mind. Because it really does make builds look nice, having some elevation to them. Alright, so we're going to start filling out this place with some dirt, and then I'll see you when we're back. Alright, we just finished this dirt platform, so now I think I can get to building. So I think I want to build a small house, and then I want to do some terraforming and making some trees around it. And, um, so th I'm making this channel, it's kind of new, so just comment, like, what kind of videos you want to see. Like, do you want to see more uh survival worlds you know i have a survival world so i could give a tour of that do you want to see um more content like this where i just build you want to see like tutorials i made a tutorial video but i don't know what video is going to put get posted and when so just comment what kind of videos you want to see i'll do anything i just don't know what you want to see so I would love your feedback so yeah I think I'm using some of this I have no idea what I'm gonna do maybe I could even make like a windmill you know I think that'd be kind of cool I think we're gonna go a little higher with each of these pillars yeah stripped dark oak wood is one of my favorite blocks in the game should we do diolite yeah I think I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's try dialight and calisite. So, when you're building, one thing I like to do is build in odd numbers because your windows it can make it uh, easier because you can have like more symmetrical. Yeah, that's what I like to do. I think it makes the final product a lot better. See, because uh, if it was like something like this yeah yeah you should like build in ways like build have a plan when you build so that you um know what kind of so you can like fit the windows into the build that's something i've always done and, and it's always worked out for me pretty well so if you're building or want to get better at building that's definitely something i would do so I'm not that good at building, but I think I'm pretty good. Still have a lot to learn, but I've learned a lot about building recently because when I started Minecraft, which wasn't very long, which wasn't a very long time ago, I just like played creative and did whatever, blowing stuff up. But now I kind of like building a lot more. I just recently started getting more into survival, but yeah. And if you want to see like a survival let's play kind of thing, I could do that too, yeah. Or even hardcore, but I probably would die pretty quickly. I'm just trying to add some glass so that spreads out here. Um, I don't know, how is this coming out? Uh, should we add... I don't know how this will work but we could add like fences going up here yeah i think that doesn't look too bad i don't know 
comment if you think this uh, is nice. It's also actually my dog's first birthday today, so that's pretty cool. Got him like a uh, lots of dog treats. All right, we're getting somewhere. So let's. Hmm. I think we could extend this by one. And so what I want to do is have this like come out a little bit on every direction and then go up a few more levels and then we'll have a windmill because I think I want to make this a windmill. And then um, as we like do the terraforming around it, yeah, I think, yeah, we'll do some terraforming and some other cool stuff and yeah. Should we use copper? Um, just grab cobblestone for now. Uh, yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Hmm. All right, yeah. I think this we're getting somewhere. So, alright, then from here, should we do? Yeah, let's do. Actually, we can just go like this. Add some more pillars. Yeah, one of my favorite building styles is medieval, but I'm starting to like um, like modern like cities. So. Alright, um, I'm trying to think how we're gonna do this. Maybe I could, yeah, maybe I'll just bring a, yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, I don't really like having a plan when I build in creative. I just like, you know, building some random stuff. When I build in survival, though, I like to have a plan. But in creative, I just do whatever. So for the second level, what should I do? Um, I, uh, I could do deep slate. Actually, I'll just do some brick and granite. Could mix in some jungle wood too. Oops. Alright. So, I guess we'll fill it in like that. Is the window gonna fit? Yeah, alright. Alright, this is starting to look nice. Alright, so let's finish this out in brick, and then I'm going to add some texture using the brick, uh, granite, polished granite, you know, some jungle wood. Adding texture really makes builds just look a lot more uh, realistic and less plain. So, and then we'll, I don't know if we'll do an interior. I think that looks pretty good, maybe, yeah. So, yeah, texture is just good to break up. Like, especially when you have such a plain block, like brick, it's really good to add texture and break up the block. Make it less of such a, uh, just make it less uh, bold. So yeah, adding more texture, we can add more clean it, whatnot. So yeah, um, yeah. Comment down below what kind of things you like to build, like medieval, modern. Yeah, I would say it's a mix between medieval and modern is what I like to build. 
I don't like building too much of the same style though. I like switching it up a lot. All right, so should we add, all right, should I add a pillar going across? Um, yeah, I guess I could. All right, so we continue these up. Five blocks, I think. Yeah, five blocks. And then I think one more level of the brick, and we'll go into a, um, we'll make the blades for the windmill. And then we'll get to the fun part, doing all the terraforming. We can make all sorts of nice trees and bushes. Now, look, yeah, one of the things I like to do in building is add, like, lots of life around it. And that is another way to really make builds nice. And then also adding leaves, like vines growing up it. Unless you're doing modern, of course, you probably would want to stay away from that, but... Alright, so again, we're going to add the brick, and then we're going to go back and texture this after. Oh, we didn't add the pillars all around. Alright. I don't know. What's your favorite wood type? I want to know. Comment that down below. Maybe I'll do, like, a vote to see what I should build next. Alright. I will almost say ah. Uh, and then, I don't know, do we like, I don't know how to add the blade, um, yeah, I guess we add one more, and then we put the, we attach the blade to that, I would assume, I don't know, alright, so add, add some more texture, I think we'll just go around adding one block at a time, so yeah, don't be afraid to add like too much texture. You can never add too much texture. Like, texture is really key to building. Like even sometimes if you're doing like a modern build, it's still good to break it up, you know. And I don't have world edit, world edit in this uh, world, but I might get downloaded in future videos. I'll try to at least. Alright, so... Yeah, I guess we bring up one more, and then from this last block is where we'll add the blades. Oh, okay, that's dangerous. Should probably block that up. Alright, and again, I'll continuing the pillars along same pattern and then move, moving them up five blocks so it's three four five
outside. So just finishing up the walls here. We might just go back and texture this after. Because I don't want to bore you guys with the texturing. So we'll just finish this and then we'll add the fan on and then I'll texture it off camera. Alright, so we have this and we're not going to texture it, so do we add a roof? Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess make like a copper roof but let's just leave it as this for now and then we'll see what we could do later all right oh not supposed to have windows here on this level so i think we'll use stone to um connect the windmill to this actual structure so let's grab some stone. Just gonna do normal stone for now. Oh, and some stone brick stairs. So let's build this out, and I'm thinking we should add like some something to de something to give it some support, like a um. Let's see. I don't know, does it look good being like anchored to that? I mean, we could always see. Alright, so that's starting to look good, I think. It looks like something, so. And let's grab fence and then trapdoor. Trapdoors. Alright. And then for the end. We could do polished andesite. That'll look nice. And so this is something I saw someone do. Where for the blades of the windmill, you just do fence, fences, and then you add your trap doors going up. And I think it looks really good. I use this like with the trap doors and the fences almost always. Like when I do like any kind of blade or propeller. Although you can't actually connect them here because you can't put two trap doors in one block. So that's, I mean, it's not that bad though. And then we just put it along the bottom like so. I think this is looking pretty good, so and continue to do the trap doors and then I don't know, should we just Yeah, I think we'll do some more polished and decide and let's grab a for the valley center we could do chiseled stone brick. And I think that looks pretty good for the windmill. I think yeah, I'm gonna extend each part by one block. Yeah, that's this looks good. All right. Let me just finish this up. Alright, so now we have the propeller, and I think that looks pretty good. Now, we're on to the roof. So, let's do some copper, because I have never really used much copper, and I want to use it. So, 
Um, do you like a point, a slanted roof? Yeah, let's do a slanted roof, and then... Yeah, I think a slanted roof would look nice. I think we could hollow this out and then we could replace it with some brick. And continue that on the other side. So this is starting to look very nice. And maybe we should add some stairs or something. Maybe we could, yeah, we could do stairs on the ends I think to like do this maybe oh no, that looks kind of bad yeah Alright, I think that looks okay, so continue it along the back side. And yeah, when when building it's always good to experiment with different blocks so you can get just the right um, design. And when you're building in survival, of course, it's always good to design it in creative and then just move it over to survival. Because mistakes are a lot more expensive in survival, so. And you could also, if you're moving it from survival to creative, I mean, creative to survival, you could get the exact measurements for the blocks. Right, I think I'm going to place that in a slab. Because I think that would look better and also more secure. Alright, so this is looking okay. But, I think, right now we should... Pause on the actual building and add um, uh, terraforming. So let's get some leaves. Uh, I think I'll just do some oak leaves. And let's just add them along the building. Especially the roof. It's a good spot to hide in some leaves. And yeah, leaves are always good to make buildings better. Though, yeah, that's it's one thing I always like to add. So, and I would really recommend it, strongly recommend it to people who are building. So, just add some more leaves, and then we can get to some trees. I think, uh, I think I might have gone a little crazy with the leaves, but let's just leave it. So then you can add like leaves hanging from the pillars and just can really make them look like they're like drooping down, you know, clinging on. And yeah. Now we can continue going along here. And I can make like this vine lapping around the house. And maybe we could hide some. 
sitting on the windowsill. And then let's do some like coming down from the roof here. And I think this is starting to look good, so let's add some uh, leaves down at the bottom here. And then, I don't know where should we, we should add trees, so we have some pretty good stuff here. So then let's just get out some spruce wood and let's add like a pine tree right maybe right here this is a good spot so i don't want to do it too tall but then let's grab some spruce leaves and i'll just stop i haven't made a custom tree in a long time because i've been working on a city in my survival world so i haven't really uh, gotten to make that many trees lately, so I'm just gonna try it out a little bit, see how I do. Alright, this is starting to look pretty nice. Alright, that looks pretty good, pretty small, short but sweet. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So then, let's get some more materials to finish that up. So something I like to do is, um, I will just set the time of the day. Not the time. Time set noon. Alright. So something I like to do is just add in some fences. Because it looks like um some little like sticks inside the tree, you know, popping out. And you could um oops. You can add in some birch leaves. And that really makes them look nice. Just having some variation and then should we do another right here yeah let's continue with the spruce leaves and when you're building a custom tree you should really just like start just build a um like a peg sticking out of the ground to hear wood and then just start pulling the leaves up and just, you know, stop placing them kind of random. But still keep it kind of like the pointy shape. Pointy at the top, but still try to keep it somewhat random. You know, give it some shape, but still keep it somewhat pointy. And we can move over to the back, spruce it up a little bit. Add in some fences, some sticks, and that is already looking a lot better now that we added some trees and leaves. Alright, so next step is some coarse dirt. And we could always go back and add more leaves, so let's add, take some dirt. And then I want to kind of pull the dot out around this um, base. And let's just get it under these leaves. Pull it out and then let's grab it a shovel. And with the shovel, we'll start a uh, pathway, and we're gonna just kind of go randomly, and then let's add some ins and outs, 
I can take some more quartz, dirt, and add it around here and add it outside the pathway. Yeah. Just sparsely place the quartz dot. And it's looking better. Alright, let's add some more glass just to speed up this process. Oops. Alright. Alright, so now we have a small pathway, but let's grab some. Yeah, let's grab some oak wood and just put that in here. Yeah, not too much, not too little. Just to make it look more uh, man made, not just like a. Yeah, so. Alright, we have this nice pathway here. We have some trees. Now let's add some bushes along the path. Alright, and if you're in survival, something I would recommend is just hide some torches under your bushes. Like, we could just break this open if I want to survival. And I can just place a small torch there. And then hide the torch. Because, uh, one thing that, uh, makes builds look, you know, not that great. Is when, like, torches are just randomly placed. So, I like to try to conceal them. Even in my house, I try to, like, hide them as much as I can. So, just keep adding some random bushes. And then let's go ahead and add some of the path blocks. Because they're good just to, you know, add every here and, uh, not, uh, I can't talk today. Just add the path blocks here and there. And then... So, now we can have the glass glowing. So now, let's move over to this side and add some shrubs. Yeah, we even have a little bush under that tree. And then continue with the bushes out here. And then path block time so now that we're adding some of these in next step for the front of the house is some coarse dirt and this is just you know mud because you know it's outside you know stuff is getting muddy it's raining yes animals walking around so um stuff is always gonna be muddy and dirty out here so that's why we're adding all the coarse dirt in the path blocks and then let's add let's get some night vision all right so now we have now we just need to add some stuff along the back so we just keep adding some leaves I'm actually saving up for a PC, so that's one of the reasons I started this YouTube channel. Cause I really want a PC. Right now I'm playing on like a Mac, so. And then let's continue going out here. And um. Just some bushes and other stuff. Alright, so now it's a like, big bush out here. And I did not forget that, that this is on a floating platform. Because we are going to be adding this as a hill going down. It's not always going to be floating like this. So I just continue building this and it's looking pretty nice I think yeah it's very barren doesn't have a lot of trees but then it has like a lot of bushes to lighten it up
Alright, and then let's continue adding some pack blocks here and there. Just add them in small clusters and whatnot. And I'll land a tree. Dog on bushes. Oops. Five. Small quest dog just here and there again. Just oh, I forgot. We need to add some locks too. All right. So I think that's it for today. Um. Cause this is getting pretty long but we have made a lot of progress it's i think it's looking really nice we still have a lot to do we have the interior some more texture and then we're going to add this and turn this into a nice like cliff side down here so but right, that's it for today again comment down below what kind of content you want to see in the future and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please consider subscribing. And if you think the video deserves a like rating, that would be much appreciated. Thank you.